Hello guys. Uh, very often I've got some uh, questions how to organize a rock cleaning workshop using the full set of the machines. So today I'm gonna show you uh, an example how you can do it, okay? Like the way uh, we have it in our rock cleaning workshop here in Poznan. This is one of our workshop and you may see we have a big entrance gate for the, for the car to get inside if you collect uh, some uh, dirty rocks uh, from the collecting points uh, all over our city or our region and they are gathered and uh, <coughs> transported here and you need to have a big gate just to let the, uh, the big car to get inside uh, moreover over here we have the entrance door uh, for the individual uh, uh, clients for the individual customers they can get inside to bring the rock uh, and at the very beginning we have uh, a reception desk where uh, the operator of the machine can come up here and collect the collect the drug, uh, the good drug uh, from the customer. Uh, we sign all the papers here. Uh, we have a TV screen over here representing our service. Uh, what can the customer expect with this money? Uh, and uh, this, is, this is all this uh, area. This is the area which is great. This is the dry area. Okay. Later on, you will see uh, the, uh, the whole uh, uh, rock clean point is divided into two areas: the dry one, which is dry, and the blue one, which is wet. Okay. So let's come up. the trolleys and this uh, here we keep uh, the dirty rocks uh, for cleaning to be clean. Okay? This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. Okay? And the operator knows which day uh, it has to clean uh, on the rock. So the first one is the dusting machine which is the start as you see in the gray area which is for the dry cleaning. We have grades, we unroll the rocks here, we measure them, we make some, some examinations, uh, we see if there are any damages, any fault, any stains, and we have a camera. Okay. It is recording all the time, and you can make a picture, and you can have some uh, disputes with some customer who says, who says Oh, my work uh, wasn't like this, I didn't have this and this. You can always uh, make a picture and show him, okay, this is your rock, it looked like that, like this, uh, when we get it, and right now it is clean. Just for you to be, be safe. So this one, the duster, uh, the rocks are done measured and dusted here. Uh, at the bottom of the machine you just take the uh, already clean, uh, I mean like, uh, after the dry cleaning, dust it and vacuum the rug and you can uh, transport it to the wash tub. Here we have actually a small wash tub. Uh, and we immerse it into the water for a while. Okay, and from this wash tub we put it into the uh, rug cleaning machine. This is the motor tornado ALZ 3000. As you may see, this machine is already on a, a blue area. That means that this is already the uh, wet area okay, of the, uh, the workshop. So, this machine actually, we have two rug cleaning machines here, a big one and a small one. You can divide. You can clean synthetic uh, and wool covers from one machine to the one machine and all the other kinds to the other machine or you can divide it according to the size, big rack, small rack, it's up to you how to organize it. But we have two machines working uh, at the same time. That's why, uh, that's why we need three pieces of the centrifuge. Uh, also, we have some uh, area here for manual cleaning. Uh, in case you, you have some uh, stains and you need to work 
with them, or you need to make some uh, free spray before cleaning, uh, or you would like to use a manual scrubber, I mean uh, the scrubber with a single disc, to, to clean in a proper way, if you have some problems with the rock, you, you can do it here, and so you need to do it here. But you only have uh, a spin wire, that you will see different sizes of different types of the rocks, but there is no any use and no need to to make a spin dryer of a small rock in a, in a, in a spin dryer, which is the biggest one here, for example, here. Later on, we have a drying room. Yeah. Have, a, have a look. Okay. Temperature, the humidifier, and circulation of the air. This is what is important in the client chamber. And back room, as you may see, it is already a gray area, which means it is dry area. And uh, this is the area for the examination of already uh, dry drugs. Okay, before you're gonna give it back to the customer, you need to check it, to check the quality of cleaning. We unroll them, we check the quality, if everything is okay. We use uh, the economic S3000 machine, which is for rolling and packing uh, the dry threads. Okay, dry rocks. You can, you can watch video on our YouTube channel. Uh, I made a video about uh, about this machine and another one, Tornado, for packing and pumping. Actually, in this point, we have this machine. And uh, one more, uh, one more, uh, one more thing I would like to show you it is uh, uh, the space where we uh, keep already dry uh, and clean. Wow. Here. We keep already uh, cleaned and dry uh, rags, just waiting for the customer to be picked up uh, by the individual customer. Because uh, if they are going to collect it from our collecting points, we have to do it and to their points. But these are the, the rags waiting for the individual customer to be picked up with them. So, actually, this is a short, a short presentation of uh, of the example how to. Uh, how to set up uh, the rack cleaning point, rack cleaning workshop uh, if you have uh, several machines and how to divide the space, how to divide the area you need to, first you need to have a place where to, to collect from the customer to sign the papers and later uh, the dusting area uh, and then we proceed to the wet area which means uh, pre-washing in a wash tub uh, using the automatic rock cleaning machine you need also have some space for uh, manual cleaning in case you need to work uh, with the rock I mean like working with the stains or whatever and then centrifuge after it you need to transport it to the drying room and afterwards uh, when you already um, uh, roll uh, the dry uh, rocks you need to have some space to unroll them and to make the final examination and to pack them and uh, prepare to, to give it back to, to the customer. This is, this is it. Thank you. Thank you for watching it. In case you have any, uh, any questions, please contact me. Uh, here at the bottom you will see my email address and my phone number. Thank you. Bye-bye.